The time has come, ladies and gentlemen. Need for Speed Unbound, the fastest car. I wouldn't blame you for thinking it's the Bugatti, right? No, no, it isn't. And I wouldn't blame you for thinking the M3 is the fastest car. Because quite frankly, I've been using this thing in PvP and genuinely, it is definitely one of the cars. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, suckers. Goodbye, M3 GDR. Am I now going to finish this playlist to prove my point? Yes. However, that boy is catching up to me. What is he? Oh, God, it's you again. So the issue with the M3, it is very quick off the line, as you can see, but we are already topped out. 227, possibly gets to 228. It has an issue of top speed. There is also one other major issue. I have near enough down mastered this car on these races online because I've been playing it so much. But it's time for me to dismiss this car. I'm about to introduce you to another level of overpowered. If you thought that was overpowered, just you wait and see, ladies and gents. See, my plan started and I was going to save 1.5 million for this car and buy it straight away. Clearly, I got a little bit out of hand. I just spent all my damn money. I'm about to see this money drop. The Regera potentially returns as the fastest car in Need for Speed. For those of you that don't remember, the Porsche RSR has always been the fastest car. I say always, pretty much always. In Need for Speed Payback, there was a place for this boy right here. It was mental. So the reason is a combination of things as to why I think this is the fastest. Mainly being it has no gears. It doesn't have to shift. You don't have that bog, the, the issue of bogging down between gears. As to which, in my opinion, the P1 should also be one of the fastest. I mean, technically, that still has gears, but anyway, and also it is a hypercar. Nonetheless, I've heard people have got the Bugatti. Of course, I wanted to be as quick as I could with this, but at the same rate, I wanted it online. It doesn't make sense to show you. Oh, look how fast it is offline. And so, of course, in today's video, we're going to test this boy out and see. Already, can I just say... I'm going 100 like it was nothing. It doesn't feel like 100 miles an hour. It feels slower in this car. But let's get this thing up to speed as stock. I want to drive this thing standard and see what it's all about. This thing's already going 200 miles an hour, which normally is just a push in anything. We're already beating the M3. What, are you joking me? How is that so fast? 245 seems to be the top speed as of current. And mate... That is just ridiculous. It doesn't even feel fast. That's the problem. Normally, I'd be a lot of cars like the RSR and stuff that feel so fast and are actually fast because of the fact that you can swap the engines and stuff. It has been nerfed. The RSR, I'm still on track to getting that thing because I really want to test it out. But of course, we got to try this first. The new fastest car and it takes no effort. Oh, to get up to speed. <laughs> so that's enough messing about. Let's customize it. So I'm rather happy to know that the only engine swap available is itself. You can't actually swap the engine, which is good. That gives me less testing. It's already 400 plus. Maybe that's why it was so fast already. Maybe it already has all the parts pretty much. We can swap to a supercharger or the twin turbos and it makes a 2.4 naught to 60. That is genuinely insane. Everything but the standard turbo. <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool. So if we want the most horsepower, we're looking at the supercharger options. 1,565 and the max torque of 1,900. We've got a 9.4 quarter mile. And if we go to the turbo, the turbos are actually worse in every case. That is just insane. Unfortunately, it gives you basically the same description for both these superchargers. It talks about how it's high at the low end and then low at the high end. So I'm just going to go for the more expensive option. That probably makes sense. But thankfully, we do need to put nitrous and stuff on it still. So we, we're, we're not just doing not, not calling it customization and not doing anything to it. <laughs> so that's, that's quite nice. Put some road suspension on there. We can put the elite brakes. That is going to be mega handy considering we're now stupidly fast. We've got some extra tire upgrades we can do. Clutch is already done. Gearbox, of course. Thankfully, we're not upgrading some more gears because that would be worse. <laughs> Differential upgrade and the auxiliary. Now, what I've found is the best setup personally is nitrous drift. Apply that. And then also nitrous grip. Now, however you take a corner, you're going to get more boost. It just makes sense. You can also, if you prefer, do the near miss and the drafting and stuff. But 
Hopefully, you're going to be in first, right? All right, my favorite bit. Let's get a body kit on this thing. So, we have got the chassis mount wing still. We've got that crazy looking kit that makes it look quite a lot different. And the alchemist, which is a little bit more subtle, but I, I, I quite like that. We're going to just edit out ourselves. We're going to make this thing look the part. It drives the part we already know. It's going to be absolutely mental. That is crazy. I kind of want to go for that. A splitter option. So, we've got a double split. Oh, my God. God, that is a stupid splitter. Uh, the HUD options as well. We can go for more aggressive, bit more subtle. I think we go for the Alchemist. The Alchemist seems to have the best kit for this car, mostly. We got the wing mirrors, which we can... Oh, I kind of like those. Side skirt options. Again, the customization. I, ca I can't remember the last time I used this damn car, so I can't hit, sit here and tell you the customization is all the same. But I know for a fact I want to change and tint these lights black. That looks super cool. I don't know if you notice as well, when you do the little tint of the light, it has like a, a, a shift in the colors still. So awesome. That really reminds me of what the Drive Club devs did. Spoiler options. We've got the Koenigsegg one, which looks awesome. Really do like that. We've got the non-equipped. We've got the Speed Hunters and the Chassis Mount Wing. Ah, I feel like I'm going to go Chassis. Trunk lid options, which add an extra vent. I quite like that. <laughs> but it's so mental that this is now coming back to pole position for being the stupidest car. Holy crap, I didn't realize those side things were, those are exits there, that's pretty sick. So the parts changing here are the actual exhaust. The middle is just a ventilation duct, which is a really cool thing about the Koenigsegg. However, I really prefer the standard exhaust, so I'm actually gonna stick with that right there. Right, onto the rear bumper. We can't choose that option, it's restricted by the spoiler. Fine, I'll accept it. What do we got? It's, oh, it's doing like a little cutout on the side there, a bigger, that seems new to me. A whole ass delete? That looks really sick. That looks mental. I I kind of want that. <laughs> and then we need to choose some wheels. Those are not right. Do you see it says that those are those wheels? That's not right at all. That's wrong. Unless they're different front and rear. No, that's wrong. I would like it to be known that I'm choosing these wheels, not out of uh, want to annoy. But look how thick these wheels are. They, The tires, they look sick. And then bang, most of them are this thin. Look at the difference. I'm going for these. Oh my God. This thing is gonna be mental. I cannot wait to try it. I don't know what's happened to the design. It's looking a bit funky, but whatever. So something to know, of course you can tune on this game. The traffic's so much better about stopping. If I go to the handling tuning, you'll notice that right now I've got it as standard. I just wanna test it out in this format. And if I did go full grip, I shave 0.2 off of my handling, not what well, my not to 60. So I do want to do that at some point. I usually find that I need to turn the steering sensitivity up, but let's 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 test it out first. There's something I really like about this game and how I can just properly test it. And the handling seems to actually make a major difference nowadays, which is pretty crazy. This is the camera I actually end up using on PvE most of the time because I'm a person that normally, normally I drive like this, NOS with this. That it's it's a claw hand thing. Anyone that's played Monster Hunter will understand. All right, I think we should probably just come to a stop. Okay, normally you get the good launch. If you get the perfect launch, it makes all the difference, but let's boost. Oh my God, 100, 150. We're instantly beating everyone. 180 like it's nothing. 200, we're beating everyone. 225 is around. I reckon 220 is where most cars end up topping out. This thing is climbing 230, and I've got NOS. I'm not even using it. I'm in a tunnel up to... And Criterion crashing. Thanks, Criterion. What the... F Come on! Here we go. Right, I want to see what this is like steering at high speed. That's the most important thing. The steering is vital. Of course, I can always go fast, but... Yeah, so this needs to be able to turn a little bit better. Let's bump up the steering sensitivity all the way. It tends to be what I do. Man, this is going to be so freaking quick. I cannot wait. Here we go. All right, let's test it out. We need to see what we can do drift-wise. We need to make sure we can micro-drift. We need to make sure that we can do big drifts. How about I was on the highway? That would have been a better idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. do not matter, does it? This thing is insane. Here we go. Turn. Oh, it's stable. He says he flops all over the road. That's me. That's me trying to usually do the corrections that I need with the M3. Normally, like, micro-steering, like, just aggressively tapping, turning. This thing steers really well. I might... 
I might try a full grip. The fact that we have to tune like this in Need for Speed is amazing. I love it so much. Uh, I feel like a little bit less downforce, to be honest with you. And I usually keep brake to drift on. It is the most competitive way. You can then have grip and drift in one, depending on how you take the corner. It, it's just the best way for online. Although grip is somewhat nicer now, it's still not quite as good as drift. <laughs> Again, saying that, I've not tried all the lower end stuff. This is mostly just talking about S plus races, which you, you need to be you need to be focused. So straight away, you can already see it's a lot more darty. The grip driving is like genuine. It makes the cars basically take any input you give really aggressively. The M3, I could not drive with it. You could also increase the stats with the M3 by going to grip. But that thing, if you snap, it would snap back and it would it was just crazy. It's actually one of the the race routes. Are you just Okay, I clearly don't know where I'm going. The time of day makes a massive difference in what I can do. It's too bright. Put some sunglasses on, for God's sake. Okay, I think the best way to test this is in a speed list. Okay, this is proper unfair. This person doesn't even have an S plus car and I'm here in this. Wait, was it trying to show the exhaust on that shot? That is so cool. I love that they actually have different angles for the different exhausts. I wonder if there's any of them that are wrong. <laughs> okay, this just feels wrong. This feels so evil. I am so sorry. Day and night, you already know. A hundred. He is gone. Holy shite. <laughs> I am so sorry. Whoa. This thing's much, much grippier than the M3. Even with the new tuning, the, the dartiness doesn't really happen when you're on a corner. This is so fast. The M3 would not be hitting his top speed here. And I am. What is this? Why is the top speed so low? Did they have to limit the top speed because of how ridiculous this car is? The most important thing, though, is the corners. Because that's going to be the issue. Of course, I'm going to have to learn to handle this beast. But at the same time, I still got room to tune. Is he just sat there? Is he, is he just sat there? Is he just making other people do the speed list for him? That is rude. That is so rude. <laughs> but thanks for letting me test my damn car. You're going to get a lot more grip boost with this car. It is just crazy. Yeah, you're going to have to slow down a hell of a lot more for corners, it feels like. I definitely want to play with that. Can I tune mid-race? <laughs> it's not like he's playing. No, I can't. Just, just so you know. I think maybe reduce the downforce even more. I feel like it has too much. But look at the speed. It oh, boost again, maybe. Mate, won't you get the boot? Ah, that's good grip. That's good grip. Give me. Yeah, boy. Craziness. That is fast. Why have I had the M3 for another million money? I don't know. I could have bought this so much sooner. Man, he's not moving, is he? 9%. 9%. Okay, maybe he's letting his little kid drive. I'm sorry. I See, the annoying thing is, though, I've grinded my absolute bum off to get this car. And I'm now probably not going to do S plus races <laughs> because I'm revealing this information. It's going to ruin the speed. <laughs> but also the fact that uh, why I I've unlocked basically the best car in S plus. Now the bigger task, I think the biggest task is going to be trying to figure out the OP cars in the lower classes this thing cannot surely not leave the s plus class you can't swap the engine and you can't lower the part so it's stuck in its class what's the fastest s class car maybe the rsr has a place there what's the fastest a plus a what's the fastest b club i love b class races i don't know why but i do <laughs> this is a corner this is a corner this is good yeah, yeah 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 that's what i meant to do Oh, that was a good reset. Thank you. Oh, and don't worry. I am demanding to Criterion that we get a reset button for when it doesn't reset you because that is the worst possible thing to happen in this game. I swear. You can't give us a reset half the time. It's both or neither. The learning curve isn't huge. Don't worry. I I've been with the M3 for like a week now, just smashing. The Where did you go? I didn't see you. I wasn't paying attention. When the boosts on the... They, they just send you flying. You go from like a low speed, all of a sudden you fly up. If you can grip steer with this, yeah, do it. Here's another little complicated section. Normally I slow down quite significantly here. I'm gonna do the same here. This is more than I normally do. I did crash, <laughs> but it's just, 
Why does it get so many boosts? <laughs> it just feels wrong. Now, this is an event where you sit at high speed quite ridiculously. I guess the only other car that I really need to unlock is the Chiron, and I'm really curious what the top speed is going to be like. I, I have a feeling it's going to be very, very similar to this and still have the issue. He is just milking money off me. This is so quick. <laughs> Cut across. Cut back over. Keep it straight, baby. Keep it straight. We have got ourselves the top speed already. Tapping the wall. Still going the M3's top speed. Just mental. And again, to be clear, the reason I keep referencing the M3's top speed, the M3, although not the fastest car, it definitely walked on a lot of cars that people tried to race against me. As soon as I got to top speed, I would like slowly pass them. Oh my goodness. I'm not trying it flat out. There's no way. But this, this pole every time. Oh, come on. I think you could do that flat out. I think that's possible flat out. I tried to risk it. I gambled it. It could have worked. <laughs> Am I going to rub the wall in this section? Probably. You definitely have to slow down a lot more. I'm curious how that'll be. Especially, I don't know. Maybe it's just because this car doesn't feel as fast. It just, it feels so fast to the point where it doesn't. <laughs> it's because it doesn't have as much camera shake because it's a higher end. How did I get through there without spinning? That is mental. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is quick. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's stable. Normally I have an issue there. If like I, I run up onto the curb quite a lot. That was all me. I could have avoided that. Give me the grip, give me the grip. Give the boost. <laughs> that is insane. That is crazy. Be sure to check out this video. It's also Need for Speed Unbound. Thank you so much for watching this video. Smash like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. And we'll be back. We're going to find all the OP cards.